You know what? You want me to talk? I have to say now. The world can end. I want the world to end after I die. World War III is going to happen, and Frogan's like, guys, what's going on in my brain? <laughs> <laughs> Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, Hababies. To another episode of the A-Raps Podcast. Welcome in. Today, we have a very serious topic, and uh, we're going to talk about breaking news. I mean, we, we're filming this on a Monday for it to come out in like a day, right? Which we never do. Never. But we're doing it because I think it's important that we talk about what just happened. Uh, Israel uh, and Iran are going at it, you know, and uh, Iran fired. Ding, ding, ding. Fight starting. <laughs> I can't even laugh about the this fight's shit. happening. You can't say it's that. finally happening. Uh, Iran is retaliating. You cannot say Iran. Why? Because that's not how you say it. Iran. Iran. The white and you came dude, out. Dude, the there. white and you did the Florida and you came out. It like, was really I, bad. Iran. Iran. It was my bad. I don't know why that Iran. Was that wasn't Ick. Uh, it wasn't Ick. I think cut, cut all that out. No, keep no, it keep in. it in. No, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm gonna get attacked. Uh, Iran. This, this week we're gonna uh, Iraq. We're, we're gonna break down what's Iraq. going on, so you guys. We're having Iraq. a conversation, and you're Iraq. really no, you're not Jared. having a conversation. Iraq. You guys are just Iran. saying the words of countries correctly before we start the podcast. You're really interrupting us practicing for our podcast. Trying to, I would like to make a formal apology to everybody who's Ira Iranian. Oh my god, <laughs> they don't call themselves Iranian, Iranian. they don't call themselves that, they call themselves Persian. Just so I you know. mean, I Do feel they? like we should yes. apologize to Iranians because they have the white BMW red Persians. interior. They call them Persians, Persian. You're just being racist now, white BMW red interior, Dior Sauvage. Uh, crap dusting you. That sounds store. great, actually. I wish I had a car with a white with a red interior. I have white interior. I know. You're it's the last person that needs quick. white interior. Uh, gets dirty quick. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to break down uh, everything that's happened in the past 48 hours and uh, talk about... Uh, 72, I maybe 120 by the time. I down so badly. Do you want to joke about it or you want to fucking do it, Frogan? It's not 48 hours. It'd be like 120 <laughs> this is by the, the time this, this comes out. This isn't like the crime show, the first 48. Yeah. We're at the first 40, 72. Okay. Should we... Should 40, we... 72 is a horrible sub split, by the way. I hate you both. <laughs> this is so, such so weird doing it on a Monday. I feel I'm, we're weird. trying to lighten the mood just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, World War Three is about to happen. You know, yeah. um, the reason why I don't care is because I'm not getting drafted. You're getting drafted. You I'm are not. getting drafted. You have, Frogan you know has this thing not. that she's not going to get drafted not, because was, she's a woman yeah. above the age of 21. You get drafted. No, I can't. Why not? Because the the new policy for drafting is if you're born after a birthday in 2001. That's when everybody gets drafted, no matter your gender identity. Me? I was born in 1997. Yeah, but they always kick that shit back. You know that, right? Well, when they, they run out of people. They always kick that shit back. I hope all the Zionists get drafted and never fucking come back. Okay, you just wanted to say that. You had that plan, so you can... I've said it before. I'm not getting drafted, bro, no matter what. I can use I can use some bullshit excuse. They're like, Frogan, you got to go to war? My eye's been twitching. I can't. My, yeah, sorry. Heard, My but, eye's been twitching. It twitched right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Um, mentally ill. Great. Um, uh, can't say that. Bleep that yeah, out. Bleep that out, please. Because we're not even thirty seconds into this. So bleep that one out, please. Uh, no, we we're beyond thirty. We're seconds. not thirty seconds deep. Um, mental illness. What else? Yeah, keep rapping. What else? Keep spitting what bars. else is wrong with me that I well, that won't allow me? Nothing. I think you're perfect. Thank you. Perfect There's enough to get drafted. Can I be honest? No. You know they had like Rosie the Riveter? Yeah. You'd be like, Rosie the Riveter. No, I, said, I, I said, yeah. Do you know Rosie the Riveter? Yeah, the bitch that's like. Yeah, women. And they were like at home. They were like building shit for She's the not a bitch. She's America's woman. I know. That's Raph crazy. just told me that I don't remind him of an American. You know what's crazy? All like the alpha male <laughs> guys true. are like, women don't You interrupted scars. my story. Yeah, no, it's not no a, he's, he's adding on to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm adding I'm on to the story. This. So, anyways, the uh, all all the uh, all the all the alpha male people were like, women don't build cards. Did they not know that Rosie the Riveter was like a thing? She would like tie her hair back and fucking build some shit because men were at war. They because were men like, were at war. You want to know why? Why they got drafted? 
Yeah. There was no age gap. There I'm was, not getting drafted. You're okay. getting drafted. I have a they're going to make you a fucking translator, dude. They're going to put you... They're, you know they're going to make you... what? Reverse suicide bomber. Yeah, you... Wait, how would that work? You go in and you <laughs> hug him. <laughs> and you stop it. <laughs> you stop it. Reverse suicide bomber? You go in there... You, 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 you're you just going to... You're a contractor. You're just a construction <laughs> you worker. Go in there and you, you go in there and you Kirby the suicide bomber. <laughs> dude, no. I'm going to be... If, we, if there's a war, my ass is sitting at home staring at the window longingly. For who? Until both of you get back so we can record the podcast. I'm not going, dude. <laughs> they actually, on my draft card, they spelled my name wrong. So <laughs> really? I'm not going. Do you have a draft card? Yeah. What's a draft card? They gave you one when you're 18. I didn't get a draft card. I got a draft card. You got a draft card because you were in Florida, yeah. King. They did not give me one. Again. Really? No. No, I thought that was the thing everybody got. No. It's not. People in Michigan got them. Yeah, I got I did at not the get age of 18. Card. I think I you, might, you might have. I did not get a draft 18 card. 18 was literally halfway up No, 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 no. Ago. I literally did not get a draft card. Yeah, I got a draft card. If I got a draft card, my mom would be like, you're not going. My mom doesn't speak Arabic. Your mom like doesn't my sound like that at all. My mom's, like, my mom's no more valley girl than anything. Yeah, my mom doesn't even speak Arabic. She's like, you're not going. That's actually it sounds perfect. You son of your you mom. fucking loser. I love his mom. Yeah. Valley Girl is such an interesting description of her. Okay. I want to get into it right off the no. rip. No. Yes. I want to get into it right <laughs> off the rip. I can't. <laughs> no, let, let, let her thought process finish. Yeah, thought, do, do that. Do your you thought. You ruined my thought process. What was your thought process on the Valley Girl thing? I was just saying one time somebody said I sounded like a Valley Girl, but you I do. personally, no, I don't. I sound like a normal person. Dude, what were you going to say before that? I was going to say I sound like Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's not like me. Fringe. Uh, <laughs> so for those people who don't, we need to bomb Capri's microphone like Iran bombed Israel. Okay, let's ding let, ding ding. For those who, fights out. For those who just, we're going back to the beginning. I'm gonna be the Mr. Beast of this podcast. Did you ever see Mr. Beast on Schultz? He's like retention. Yeah. <laughs> no, because I, I, yeah, I, 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 I had a whole story today about how Raf said that I'm not American. When did I say that? You said I'm, you called me a fucking fob. When did I say that? You said you're a fucking fob. Go back to your country. You don't give American vibes. And then I just thought of this response right now. Look at what I'm wearing. This is more American than you'll it's ever look. It's crazy that you that you invented this whole story in your head just to explain your outfit to people. You literally said it. I never said you're not American. You today. said that. You people. said yeah. I was seeking the other day. You don't. It's something on the lines of, you don't remind me of an American. Whenever I think of an American, I don't think of you. Did not say Something that. Something like that. Did not the say what that. What did you say? Did you, not say the that. What did you say? I, that's what I said on the lines of. Can I be honest? I want to get into the fucking topic, but first, let me tell you what it was. Number one, it was that I said, you're not really American, are you, brother? And then Raph goes, I agree. And we both said that together. That didn't happen either. That didn't happen either. It's something like that. <laughs> I started it though. See, I don't he remember talks any in of this. Absolutes. I talk in yeah, on you're, the line. You're but neither Lord. of them are fucking right. Not, neither of these are yeah, right. Because it never happened. It did. You did say something about her not being an American. I do remember that. I don't think so. But you know when you said it was exactly <laughs> when the story started, which is when Israel bombed the Iranian embassy. That's right. Okay. Uh, on Saturday. It was Saturday, see, right? See, now we lost the fucking TV. On Saturday. Um, Iran sent missiles over to... No, no, no. No, 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 no. Habibi. That's what happened on Saturday. No. that's no, no. Oh, no, no. We're talking about Israel bombing the embassy. Wait, right, I, but I was, I was just saying on Saturday, Iran bombed... Can you let my friend talk? Bombed yes. Israel. Uh, and was it... What were they, what were they going... Sh what were they going for? So they... Uh, unlike Israel bombing civilian populations, Iran <laughs> bombed military bases right so the, they sent over 70 bombs initially and then an additional 80 afterwards mm -hmm. the whole purpose as to why they sent so many was to overwhelm the iron dome which i don't really know how to explain it we were talking about it earlier you can't overwhelm the iron dome it did though they got the target did they mm -hmm. oh the why did this all start though the, this is the, let, let's start from the beginning uh the reason why this all started is because uh, obviously, we have before October seventh, we have the Palestinian crisis, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go quick, okay? Palestinian crisis has been going on for a while. Hamas, a uh, uh, you know, a uh, group within Israel, within Gaza, whether you say it's a terrorist group or non-terrorist group or whatever you say, uh, let's just like let's set that aside for now. A group within Gaza, basically. What do you think it is? Um, I think it's a complicated issue. 
I think that I don't like Hamas, but I also don't like Israel. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, how do you get out of the situation? It's always going to lead to violence no matter what, right? Right. But anyways, regardless of that. Um, so basically after October 7th, uh, Hezbollah, which is run by, which is funded, not run. It's run by Hassan Nasrallah, but it's funded by Iran. Uh, has been launching rockets at northern Israel to stop them from committing the genocide in Palestine. And the issue is that after some time, Israel decided to bomb the Iranian embassy in Syria, which is on... Didn't Hezbollah bomb Israel in retaliation to South Lebanon being bombed? Yeah, also... Well, they didn't bomb South Lebanon. I don't know who bombed who first. I don't know if Israel shot the first rocket or not. I thought Hezbollah shot them because of the uh, because of them bombing Gaza. They don't give a fuck about the Palestinians. They don't care. However, no, Hezbollah not- didn't do didn't. I, I didn't see anything saying Hezbollah did any kind of retaliation in in the name of Gaza. No, they they did. They were basically trying to get involved. Uh, they, no, they didn't want to get involved. What they were this? bombed. They were getting white phosphorus into oblivion. Wait, no, what, where, where on the timeline are, are we on this? But this is from the beginning. What, where, who shot first after October 7th? Is this, okay. That's what after I'm saying. October 7th. Yes, because we're talking about Israel's been bombing Lebanon for years. They bombed them when I was there one time. Mm-hmm. That was like what gave me fucking bomb PTSD was when I was in south of Lebanon. They were bombing. Mm-hmm. PTSD. Um, yeah, PTSDs. No, PTSDs. PTSDs. Anyways, I can't, I can't find this TV. But, uh, so... What ends up happening is that uh, we have a situation in which Hezbollah is launching rockets, mm. and then Israel, in retaliation to that, you know, basically uh, bombs uh, Syrian, the Syrian Iranian embassy. So it's actually Iranian territory. So it's basically like bombing Iran and kills one of their top generals, right? And blows the embassy up. They claim that, which is a war crime. And it's, that it's was an act in of Dam- war. Damascus, right? That was in Damascus in Syria. That's an act of war. You're not allowed to do that. Mm-hmm. I believe under Article 51, I think it's 51. But we'll look it up when I get the damn computer working. They have the uh, opportunity to retaliate um, once. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. So they can do it once. Iran sent out like a whole message where they like HR outlined yeah. why they're retaliating. They're like, Israel got our fucking C thing. What's it called? Their embassy? It, it starts with the C. What? The is place? What? Uh, uh, control? What are you saying? Israel got <laughs> Israel got our cussy? Our ambussy, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what's that cussy? That good, yeah. Yo, Israel got the good cussy, so we're going to hit him in the bussy. Consulate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the consulate. Yeah. 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 They bombed Iran's consulate. Wait, I fucking forgot what I was saying. Fuck this plant, dog. Why is this in Stop, that's me? my anxiety plant that I like to grip whenever I feel anxious. <laughs> Why? Well, because between me and you? Yo, this shit, uh, I gotta fix this. Okay. What was I saying? I don't know, dude. I'm like in a weird haze. Something about them bombing the consulate. Iran Iran was saying that... Oh, the, the thing they sent out. They're like, because our consulate was bombed, that's an act of war, mm-hmm. which we have the right to retaliate. Mm-hmm. And we are going to retaliate. They this- posted it on their Twitter, didn't they? Or something like yes. that? Yeah. Think about it. So a lot of people were talking about it. Like, imagine if Iran didn't have a response to their consulate being bombed, you know? One, they would look weak because it'd be like an open door of like, oh, we can bomb your territory. We can't do like anybody, any country can do whatever the fuck they want at that point. Right. When Iran is, I think if my perception of global politics is correct, seen as one of the scarier countries. They have, uh, I mean, they are a lot, the neocons who wanted to, like, the people who wanted to go to war with Iraq mm-hmm. have always been targeting Iran as well. But there has been adequate warning by, like, the State Department and pe- people in the Pentagon, like, Iran is not as weak as Iraq. I would never target a man with that wears Dior Sauvage. <laughs> Can I- <laughs> I want to do my Iranian accent so bad, but I can't tell if it's racist. They are kind of the overclass of the Arabs, so we are kind of punching up, you know? Let me hear it. I was going to do my Ayatollah accent. Do it. Very nice. <laughs> We're going to bomb you. Um, so, so, yeah, they, they retaliated 
Um, so they retaliated. And that was kind of it. They were like, that's a one and done. But if you attack us again, like we're so we're, the we're reason going why the, bat. the reason why this is sorry to me to cut you off. The reason why this is so serious and mm -hmm. so fucked up mm -hmm. is because they multiple times. Sorry, I'm looking at the computer. I wasn't looking at you. They multiple times. <laughs> what, you use your eyes to listen? Yeah, I do. They multiple times said that basically we're not doing any more. Do, do not attack us. We're not going to attack you. We're uh -huh. good. We're doing this under law. And the United States, and this is what I was trying to pull up on here, Joe Biden basically was like, I condemn Iran for what they did. Mm -hmm. But the issue is nobody condemned Israel for killing one of their generals. Nobody condemned Israel. Nobody condemned, nobody's going, hey, what the hell did Israel, what are you guys doing right now? And then the fact is that Iran did it very, the, the, the thing that scares me, the reason why we're doing this pod today mm -hmm. is because Elon, 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 Elon who's Elon? Il, uh, he's the Persian Elon Alorn. Musk. Elon. Alorn. Elon. Alorn. I'm Elon Musk. Very nice. <laughs> Anyways, so Elon, uh, Iran basically did it from Iranian soil, which is insane. When they have Hezbollah, which is on the border of Lebanon, they could just launch those rockets from there. Right. And then they could just like wipe their hands clean and be like, oh, we didn't do it. That was Hassan Nasrallah. He was the, he was the leader of Hamas or Hezbollah. He did it. Right. The fact is they did it to send a message. And the message was, do not fucking bomb us. What's, what, what scares me, and I don't know what your guys' thoughts is, this kind of feels like the West, like the, um, the world can't be more unstable. We have war, right? Like when people are like, oh, World War III can't start. We have war right now in Europe. Yeah. There hasn't been war in Europe and, and nobody's paying attention. Like, oh yeah, Ukraine and Russia, you know? And now we have what? America goes to war with Iran and Israel. And then w do you think that Russia and China are not going to get involved? Oh, 100%. They already said that if, if the U.S. intervenes with Iran, Russia's getting involved. So... And Which they already did, though. Like just not on their war. soil. Yeah, yeah like just active. not on their soil. Well, that's that's the issue is that, I mean, the Americans are are fighting a proxy war with Russia right now. Right. So what's why wouldn't Russia get involved in this situation or at least fund the Iranians? Like, what? All right, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that commercial break. That's what my brain has been for the last like twenty minutes. Maybe we put that song up with like a like a we'll be right back kind of sign. Yeah. Guys, what do you think goes on in my brain on a daily basis? Why are you asking the camera? They don't can't answer you right now. Let me know below. But you're a you, streamer brain right now. What do you, you think? You really do have streamer brain. I your do. streamer brain. Guys, what do you think is gonna happen to me when I die? What do you think goes in my brain? On in my brain? On a uh, neurons. Basis? I think a lot of a th millions thoughts. upon millions. What? Thoughts. Nobody cares. You're not a thought, so nothing. Nothing. There's no thoughts. He's so fucking rude. Who? Him. What? He said nobody cares. I care. I don't care. It's <laughs> a good down. thing nobody's talking to you. World War Three is going to happen, and Frogan's like, "What's going on, guys? What's going on in my brain?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally talking about like everyone we know dying in front of it's like, guys, I am SpongeBob right now. <laughs> Bro, you don't even do weed. Like, you don't like do weed. Have the excuse. Did you fucking connect or not? No, it's not working. Fuck oh my, my god, ass. dude. See, I'm trying what to fill up message. empty fucking air and you're ripping me apart. What it, goes on in your brain? I don't know. I'm not you. Yeah. That's why I said, what do you think? I that don't. Is, that is the most. That is the most. I don't. I don't. Self-centered. I don't, I don't think about. I don't someone. think about what goes on in your brain. It's none of my business, to be honest. Yeah, with I'm you. gonna be honest. It's probably really crazy. I never things. said you think about what goes on in my brain. I'm asking you a question, which requires thought at this point. But never have yeah, I so alluded to. Yeah. So in this moment, you. I feel anger. You're thinking a lot of anger and a lot of resentment towards Capri, mostly. I feel no type of anger currently. You just screamed at me. Um. So it came from a place of anger. I didn't scream, but I could show you me fucking yelling at you. Yeah, go for it. Show it. You started this podcast off by trying to gaslight me into saying that I didn't. You literally said I it. You called me shit. a terrorist. I did not call you. Wait, I did call you a terrorist. And that's not what the how the now I'm remembering that conversation. It was something about how people see X Y Z as this, and they see you not as this American, but this fucking terrorist baddie is what I said. Thank you very much. 
Um, so and they were like, "Damn, the terrorists are or And I said something like like that along those lines. You know what? I, I hate? complimented you. You did compliment me, but you also said I look like a fob. Did not say fob, and I swear to God, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I touch you? Sicko. I did not mean to do that. So <laughs> recording on a Monday is not our vibe. Let me just tell you that right now. Got a vibe. Well, we the, the thing is the reason why is it's also like I want to get through it. Dude, I fucking hate politics. All okay. right. So so basically the uh where the, were we though? What were we talking about just so we can catch back up? Let's let's catch right back up. So the biggest thing that we were talking about is that Iran uh we were talking about how Hezbollah can launch their own rockets. Yes. From the from the border of Israel mm -hmm. and the fact that they're doing it from Iran uh means that they are trying to send a message. And the message is scary because, like I said, we talked about, like, there's war with Europe right now. Yes. There's currently, like, we have the uh, war in Europe, which everyone thought would never happen after World War II. Mm -hmm. The fact that it's happening today. And then we talked about uh, basically how the United States is also, like, we, if the United States gets involved in this, then what's going to happen next is that other countries will follow suit. China and Russia will back the Iranians. And this is it. This is kind of what happened during the Iraq war with Afghanistan, but China was not involved. Right. Right. Like with Iraq and uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, the Chinese were not involved. There wasn't really like a, a second superpower involved. Right. And currently what scares me the most is that I can see the U S slipping. I can see the Western world start to fall apart. Mm -hmm. And I think that their only way to kind of maintain that power, like they're kind of like losing control of Israel. And the only way that like Israel can maintain or Netanyahu specifically can kind of maintain that power is through war. Right. So I because thought there was like, a tweet that leaked that said like Biden's uh, advisors. Well, uh, because voting is coming up for Netanyahu, isn't it? And for America. Yeah, for Biden as well. Spoiler alert, I'm not voting for any motherfucker this year. I don't care. Okay. That's your American right. Yep. The the uh, There was actually an, uh, a tweet, and we'll pull it up. I'll pull it up in a little bit. But basically, it said that Biden's advisor said that Biden thinks that Netanyahu's trying to drag him more into a global conflict. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100% he is. And the reason why is because if they do go to war with these other countries, all uh, Israel stands to gain. But also Netanyahu wants to maintain power, and he's only popular because the war is popular. He was he was literally his political career was done before yeah. the war in, before October seventh. So Raf and I were talking earlier while we were eating lunch, and I was like, you know, why does America love Israel so much? Because usually, whenever you think of like American intervention into countries um, outside of the West, it's always resource based. Yep, and. One thing we talked about were how evangelicals genuinely feel like this event, like the events happening now, can lead to the second co second coming of Jesus. No, not these events. What like what the conspiracy is is that they're preparing to start preparations for the second coming of of quote unquote uh, Christ, which is you know the sacrificing of. The heifers, which they which is now collected in Israel, um, the burning of. Can you explain the heifers? Sure. So the heifers is, I believe, it's. I do, I don't know that I don't know the exact numbers, but according to Old Testament, I believe there needs to be the second coming happens when you have a collection of these red cows who have no yeah. imperfections. They have. No blemishes inside or outside. They are pure and red. They have not been touched, basically. Like, no leaning. No, 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 these cows do not do any work. They are just raised like Wagyu beef, essentially. Super nice. <laughs> the most tasty. The most tasty. Meat. The most succulent. Uh, and they um, uh, get then they have to be like three, between the ages of three and four. Any younger, any older, they can't be sacrificed because mm -hmm. they will be impure. Yeah. Uh, and so basically they collect all these heifers and then they are, they, they sacrifice them. They do like a cremation on them, take all their ashes. And then with those ashes, they build tools or use it to bless the tools or something like that, which then those tools that have been blessed with the 
the ashes of the heifers will be then used to build this giant temple essentially yeah. that will welcome in the second coming of christ spoiler alert mm -hmm. the temple that needs to be built is, is where al aqsa mm -hmm. is which is a huge muslim mosque mosque and it's like imperative to muslim history yeah so what's going to happen is they're going to pretty much take can you explain, that over can you explain what al aqsa is no i can't because i don't fucking know you're muslim but anyways <laughs> i was i mean i was raised muslim um, and Masjid al-Aqsa is one of the key monuments, what? I think is the correct word. Sure. Is that where Muhammad went up? Huh? Didn't he go up to heaven? I think Aqsa? that mosque is the closest, one of the closest to Allah. Let's Google it. Because <laughs> the... Let's Google it. Dude. Well, why don't you Google it? You have the TV, you have it all set up. So, basically, well, before we get back into that, basically, uh... The idea is to build basically on that where that Al Aqsa is. Well, because the old temple here, there's a video for why. Oh uh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, it's where Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven for mm -hmm. a night. How the well, fuck do you know that? Because I fucking I study history. Okay, the only Prophet Muhammad story I know is like it's in a cave and he's sitting in the cave. And That's an Osama angel, bin Laden. And, a, and, a, <laughs> <laughs> and an angel came down and it was like Iqra, which means read. Yeah. And they give him the Quran. Wait, what is, what's Ikra? Read. It means read. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it Idrus, which is learn. That means write. Right? Okay. Well, then I'm the other, uh, opposite. It's basically read. Just the opposite way. Um, but yeah, so there's two locations that would need to be demolished in order for that temple to be built, which is the Dome of the Rock. Yeah. And El Aqsa. And obviously, if those two monuments get demolished, it well, is the end of days. World War fucking three is gonna break out because I don't think any Muslim country is gonna put up with it. Well, the dome of the the, the dome of the rock uh, is in, in the center of it. Yeah. So yeah. So this is, regardless of religious affiliation, this is, I believe, the Sunni area. Mm -hmm. Like the I, I. Hold on, the Sunnis. This it's is a Muslim area. Here we go. We're looking matter. it up. It does matter. It doesn't matter. Because because what matters about it... The, the difference between Sunni and Shia happens post-Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, but, but, the, but the issue is there... Are, okay, so this is what I think Americans don't tend to understand, that Hezbollah is Shia. Mm -hmm. Hamas is Sunni. Mm -hmm. They would not be on the same side if it wasn't for we don't want kids... If it wasn't for the Palestinian conflict. Uh -huh. Granted, they are Muslim, but people don't tend to understand that these factions have different ideas it's like catholics it's more different than catholics and christians i would say or yeah but al is a uh is it general mm -hmm. for everyone okay because the beef between sunnis and shia happens after prophet muhammad died but one of them goes to mecca and one of them that's not their like holy land it's, that's not what happened okay well then tell it's, me. A, it's a whole lore so basically well i he uh, only got he got the first book I got the expansion pack and you got the DLC. So I need you to inform me what happened in the DLC. So basically the whole issue is who took power after Prophet Muhammad. Right. So yeah. Shias believe that Imam Ali is who took power after Prophet Muhammad. Sunnis believe that Abu Bakr took power. Um, and there's a whole thing that Shias believe there it's called Ashura where Imam Hussein went to war with this leader named Yazid, I want to say, or maybe it was, I don't remember. I haven't been to Islamic school in the years. I jotted that out. But basically, he killed Imam Hussein. But anyways, yeah, so basically, TLDR, Muslims have beef between sects because they don't agree on who took power after, after Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad. So when it comes to like the imams, that's where we beef. But up until like after Prophet Muhammad, that's the like general consensus. Okay. So it's still a very uh, important religious landmark for yeah. no, no, the Muslim we, uh, people. Uh, if Especially tearing... considering Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven one night. So, so going back to these heifers from what Frogan's saying is that if these heifers get, these heifers need to tear down the mosque so they can like cleanse it. Like, He's fucking up the lore. No, you have to kill the heifers and then use their ashes as, and then use their ashes 
within the tools that you use to then build this new temple altar whatever to then welcome in the second coming of christ essentially so 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 basically you have to tear down because, or prophet whoever because the temp what temple is there so right now the temple is right there no is no there no, no. The, the the jewish temple. there's no temple up there yeah but the, the temple needs to be rebuilt for the end of times they need a, they're building a new temple yeah where el aqsa is yes but what is the temple called I don't when know. it gets built, we'll have a name for it. No, there's an actual name. There's for a name. It. Why don't you no, look it up we'll, on your PC? Yeah, I have, I have the video. You want to be fucking here with your fucking computer? Use it. Dude, goddamn, bro. Damn, you went, you Dude, went Jesus hard Christ. for what? Leap that out. I don't know why you're so upset. Fight, <laughs> fight, fight. It's Jordan versus like Iranian. To the Lord. But it's, it's not correct. There's, there's names for these things. If we're gonna talk about something, we should actually know what we're talking about. Yes, and even we look like with, idiots. Like, with, oh, you know, I don't know. Maybe even without the names, you're you're not listening to the lore that he just explained. He's asking me. I'm asking the name of the temple. He's asking me. You know what, what the name what, of the temple are, is? You know the Wailing Wall. What's the temple I name? I don't know shit about that. All I'm saying, because you're saying the heifers have to break down. The no, mo- the the mosque needs to get destroyed, and the Jews need to rebuild their holiest temple, and then their Messiah comes back. And if the mosque gets destroyed and the temple gets built, evangelicals who are also Christian Zionists, Jesus comes down, kills all the Jews, and they all go to heaven. I went to evangelical places. I know what they think. I understand. But I didn't know that you had to get three fucking cows. Now you're checking out and you're playing with your goddamn beads. You know? Hold on. Let's... I'm anxiety picking off my, my jewels. Okay, hold on. You triggered me. Okay, good. Hold on. Let's. I'm gonna watch this video. This is prophecy unfolding. This is what Christian Zionists believe. Don't be blind. We are literally in the last days. What I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind. So Benjamin and the Antichrist, by the way, yeah, and the Antichrist, Yahoo is literally trying to bring in the apocalypse by his own word. I was watching a video and it got revealed to me, and right after that, God gave me a very strong affirmation. He will be bringing in the Messiah. Mr. Prime Minister, Messiah is, by the way, is the word I was looking for. So the Messiah, it would be the Jewish Messiah, and Jewish then, Messiah, and then, and then, and then Christian, Christian Messiah is kind of like Jesus. So yeah. In Islam, there's two. One is Jesus. One is um, Imam Mahdi. Mm-hmm. Oh, so they both come back. So Imam Mahdi comes back first, and then Jesus. Dude, it's fucking royal rumble. All the messiahs are coming <laughs> back, dude. They're all coming back. They're gonna fucking battle it out, it's, dude. It's, it's, it's Can you imagine they build like a wrestling ring and they'll walk in. Out of nowhere, like a Hindu messiah comes out. They're like, I, like, whoa, what are you doing here, like, dude? Messiah is yeah. like, I just don't believe it. Yeah. I, didn't I don't believe. It. I can't believe. I can't believe I came like, back. Yo, I don't know how the fuck I got here, but we're here. <laughs> There's, yeah. In Islam, it's like Imam Mahdi comes back and then preps the world for Jesus. Okay, so let's watch this. This insane end of the world prophecy that people have been now posting all over TikTok. Well, it's good to be with you. These are trying times, and I appreciate the fact that you uh, took the time to come here because we need to have Israel's story and the story of truth come out to the world. You know, when I Damn, Owen Wilson looks in fucked July, up. <laughs> when I was here, this is um, Newsmax, so you know. Yeah. I thought that sometime I'd be coming back soon and talking Can you believe a Abraham motherfucker Cors- from Philadelphia is committing a genocide? Dude, that looks like Clint Eastwood. Yeah. He's, yeah, what's his real name? Benny, it's... It's some white it, shit. It's like really white. What happened? It's Polish. It's, his real name, Netanyahu, is a fake name. He's he from Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the Jewish people there are not from Israel. Yeah. The other day you when play, someone, someone came Jolly into my ch- the guy who came into my chat that I was telling you about, I was like, where are you from? And he's like, Israel. I'm like, no, no, no where are you from? And he was like, Ukraine. I was like, go mm. back to Ukraine. <laughs> I was like, go Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> never dreamed that it would be this. It's connected. Connected. Because we can achieve the expansion of the Abraham Accords, the historic uh, the peace arrangement, peace deals that Israel made with four Arab countries. We want to expand it to Saudi Arabia and beyond. Did you hear what he just said? <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is this? <laughs> 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 This what? Game of Thrones shit. <laughs> Bro, this is so anti-Semitic, dude. Christian Zionists are insane. This is all insane. Related, and they can use it to expand the Abraham Accords to all Middle Eastern countries. But we're facing here the axis of terror of Iran, Hezbollah, Hamas, the whole Hamas. Uh, and the forces of civilization 
and modernity are faced with the forces of barbarism and medievalism. Okay, to call all these, like, to call Iran, the whole country of Iran, like, barbaric, but, you know, we're modern, we're modern, like, it's literally insane, you know, but it's so stupid. It's, I'm pretty sure it's literally how Englishmen felt about Vikings when they came it's the same. It's the same it's stuff the same that they shit. did, it's the same shit they did to Native Americans here. The question is, who wins? Uh, I think this this test will decide if we can expand the Abraham Accords to greater heights, and I'm confident this guy. That we will win and do exactly that. And when I watched that last night, it hit me so hard in my spirit that this is the hit me so hard in my spirit. Bringing the Abrahamic Accords, then guess what? Came Globally, next? does he not understand what the Abraham Accords are? Dude, I don't, I don't know what think the he fucking does. Avengers of uh, the Messiahs. <laughs> <laughs> This guy, this guy is, I, I don't understand. Here's my question. Okay, let's say every, all this is real. Okay. How the fuck would we know who Jesus is, who Imam Mahdi is, who the fucking Antichrist is? ID. Yeah, they'll have passports. They'll have IDs. You think we just let people from outer space come into their fucking countries? <laughs> they need a passport to get would they in. Be What's Jesus? We're stuck by customs. Is Jesus' last name Christ? No. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So then yes, what would Jesus Christ or Christ of Jesus? No, is that his na last name is actually of Nazareth because back then Jesus of Nazareth, yeah. because back then you were from a town, and yeah, you didn't have a last name. Where would his ID come from? It, Probably from a, a, a tablet or would, something, yeah. You, you just have a little rock like the Flintstones, <laughs> yeah, the Flintstones tablet. Did you think that you do think you think that it's funny? It's funny to me because. I want to watch this right do, for a video. Know, this I, is I, no. All I'm saying is like this motherfucker Jesus had 13 followers back in the day or some shit like that, right? 11. Yeah. You're telling me right now you'd follow a motherfucker with 11 followers and take the shit he says. Yeah, if he could walk on water and he could fly into outer space, dude. If he turned my water to wine, yeah. Yeah. One last thing, Muslims. So Ramadan just ended. Congratulations. Thank you. I I absolutely did not fast one single day in the month. All right, well, but there goes our Muslim for, vote. You didn't eat for a couple hours. Yeah, I might as well have fasted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, so shit happened in Ramadan that we have Muslims tweaking out about the end of the world. Um, one thing was the solar eclipse. I was going to say the eclipse. Every that, time every time there's an uh, eclipse, Arabs go, that is it. That is a, apparently that's a big sign um, because it happened on an odd day of uh, Ramadan. Yeah, but it only happened in America. Yeah, but still it's a big thing. And another thing was the earthquakes in New York that tweaked people out. And it happened on a Friday. So people were like, oh, my God. <laughs> all, the, all the Muslims in New York are like, the world is ending. No, they literally they, did. They, dude, they I... Call, they call their hair friends in, like, in Palestine. They're like, dude, the world's been fucked no, up. No, dude, no, listen. You're joking, but, like, the New Yorker Muslims, like, I have a whole, like, friend group of New York Muslims. They were freaking the fuck out on Instagram. Everybody went to the mosque that night and were like, really? yeah. I mean, it's a solar eclipse. We know when it happens. No, the earthquake. It, there's also fall lines there. When was the last time New York had an earthquake, though? There was one, like, 10 years ago. Yeah, but it happened in Ramadan. Yeah, it happened during Ramadan. Well, Ramadan's a whole month. If it happened during Passover, nothing would happen. One time, I was pooping, and an earthquake hit. I never shit again. <laughs> I think one of the biggest signs we know of the, that's not true. One of the biggest signs of the end of the world in Islam is the sun rises from the west. Yeah. It, the flips? Yeah. The flips. Inversion? Mm -hmm. That's cool. So what if you have Muslims in China? What's the Jewish end of the world? Wait. Hold on. What I said was so stupid. Yeah, no. That's <laughs> what not, I said was so yeah, stupid. Yeah, that was very stupid. <laughs> what I said was really stupid. That was very stupid. stupid. I, I, really I want to see this red heifer video, and then I okay. want you to explain to me the Jewish end of the world. Dude, the red I don't know heifers the look so look fucking cute. I saw a picture of them. What? The, the heifers? Yeah, they're so cute. So, so apparently someone brought these heifers. They outsourced it in America. Some farmer in America made them. Oh, fuck that motherfucker. And, right. I, and that guy was like, I'm doing my part. Brother, so they outsourced it. They a bunch in San Antonio, of, Texas, I think. So from Texas, they raised these heifers mm -hmm. and then brought them to. Be, also, okay. that's not red. That's brown. No, these this is like a chocolate heifer. But this is this looks like AI. I'll know it's the end of the world when chocolate cows actually make chocolate milk. I, I need to. I need to have this video explained to us. I want to click this. Yeah. Yep. 
Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we need a translator. <laughs> Check a uh, Discord. Okay. Um. Let me pull this up. Check a, a Discord. I'll check a Discord. Check a Discord. Uh. Uh. So basically, the red heifers in Israel, they brought the five red look how heifers. How cute they look! Aww. And they're gonna burn them alive. How they're going to burn them alive. How do we save them? Uh, Stop we got all somebody has to do is go and touch one of them. Really? What if I just go lean on all? If they of have them? any imperfections, that you can't use them. All somebody has to do is go like throw paint on them. Can I be? Where honest? are those French? Where are those French fucking people who throw <laughs> soup on shit? We need you now more honest, than ever. How do you know they have imperfections? They all look, you check them. They all look different. That they all look the same. Here's the thing. What if we... You gotta get the French people to come Okay, in. so apparently... Even better. We're gonna commit animal abuse. You know how they do, like, the imprinting thing that, like, they do for, like, frats? Frats? Yeah. Where they get, like, the hot What's piece of metal. What's a frat? Oh, fraternity? Yeah, and they, like, imprint them with, like, a hot piece of metal. It's called branding. Yes. <laughs> branding. We brand that bitch. All of them. I don't want to hurt the cow. They're gonna be burnt to dust. Un yeah, but I don't want to contribute to burning them. But I, why don't we just... Throw paint on them or soup. Why don't we just throw because throw a piece soup on them? Off. You can't touch them. All we have to do is like lean on what them. What if they have dingleberries? Then what? What? And they obviously have to get baked. Things that they create, I think, are fine. So basically, they have to burn these. I mean, it, the, I don't know if the, in this tweet they're saying no. These are we're not going to kill them. We're not going to do anything. We're not going to sacrifice. But uh, uh, then, how are you going to get the fucking ashes? So basically, what they're trying to do is that if this happens, let let let. let Let's, Thank you. Let's get back to the most important part, right? Sorry, get back to it while I do this. Okay. If this happen, if if Christian Zionists, what they want to do is they want to bring about the end of the world, which is insane. So they are happy that Iran and Israel are fighting each other. Christian Zionists <laughs> are are happy that the that Iran and Israel are fighting each other, and they want to continue the war with the Arab world, uh, purposefully to uh, to kind of bring about the end of the world. Which is insane. Um, it it's it's just it's crazy, and uh, we were kind of talking about that. But I think the other reason why why the United States supports Israel like unfetteredly, they won't stop them, is because I mean Joe Biden said it best in a speech. I mean I don't know if you want me to pull this like two minute thing up, but he said that it's the best investment. It it is a military base. What happened to not involving fucking religion in state? Why would you not involve religion in the state when it benefits you? Isn't that in the like constitution or yeah, something? Yeah, but there was never real. Nobody fucking reads. Nobody the con cares. Everybody picks and chooses. Have you not? Have you not? Do you not know Christianity? Do you not see religion just in general? Everybody picks and chooses. They just pick and choose what they need. The world can't end. It's not. It's the thing is the world. The world will, can end. Dinosaurs ended. I want the world to end after I die. Okay. I have a lot. We well, have six years. I have a lot to, to see live if it for. Yeah, like, yeah, the thing is, the thing is, though, with this situation, is that that if if Iran, if Israel responds in the next forty eight hours, this is going to bring about a global conflict. Yes, that's the scary part. Fuck, fuck the religion part. Fuck the stuff we just got sidetracked. I mean, that's on. all conspiracy, anyway. So it is all fun conspiracy. I have other conspiracy theories that I was like like to talk, but this is this is the scary part: is that Israel needs to hold, have restraint and not attack Iran. And all the sources within Israel right now are leaking that they're going to counterattack. They're cooking. And yeah. They're cooking something big. If they do, America, Joe Biden has said, "We're not going to support you. We're not going to follow up." But bullshit, because when the rockets went to hit Iran, the Amer American jets were scrambled. Right. So if if basically they counterattack and hit the Iranians, we are now dragged into a global conflict because guess what? Yemen's going to get involved. Yep. Lebanon's going to get involved. Yep. Our families are there. You know, my friends are there. Uh, you know, I have people that work in bases in Lebanon that will instantly probably get bombed. I mean, what is Israel going to do? Fight every country in the Arab world and keep calling them barbarians? Here's the thing. Uh, I got into an argument with my sister like right when it happened because... Everyone, a lot of people were so fucking happy that Iran retaliated because from their perspective, they're like, oh, like somebody's finally doing something to Israel. And I'm like, yeah, but 
I don't think you realize what's going to happen now. I was like, at the end of the day, no country is going to bomb Iran. It's going to be their allies get, that get fucked. I was like, Lebanon, yep. number one to fucking go. Yep. Syria, gone. Yep, Yemen, Syria, yeah. Iraq. I was like, I was like telling my sister, I was like, dude, like, I don't think you realize like Lebanon's going to be first to go. I was like, we have our fucking history there. That shit's going to be wiped out if Iran respond. If Iran, and Israel wants Israel it too. Resp- yeah. Lebanon's a really, really good place. The fucking, it's, it's good land. Yeah. They want it, you know? I mean, they've tried taking Lebanon before in the you, past. You know about the oil in Lebanon between Israel and Lebanon? Mm-mm. There was an oil field found between Israel and Lebanon. This is my conspiracy theory, but all the Lebanese say the same thing. And it was found on the border. So Israel and Lebanon had a deal to, they'll both drill it. Uh, Israel found the oil. Lebanon drilled in the same reservoir to get the oil. They couldn't find any. What do you think? But the problem with the Lebanese side is when they went to drill, they didn't drill down far enough. Mm. So everyone's saying, oh, they paid someone off because it's Lebanon. It's corrupt. They'll just pay someone off so the Israelis take all the oil. Okay. Because there was no oil in Israel. There's no resources in Israel. Israel's mm. only resource is to be an American military base. Right. So the conspiracy is that the Lebanese were like, ah, uh, you're good. Then right before the, I mean, we, we've known about this for a while, but there's uh, natural gas off the coast of Gaza which the Gazans were supposed to tap into and start selling. And now guess what? Guess who runs that after this war? Israelis. So they're just, this is what, this is baby America. Israel, like we said this before the pod, um, Israel's the spoiled brat of America, Mm -hmm. right? They do whatever they want. The issue is, and this is how I'm kind of feeling, and I was telling you guys, we were all talking about this, is that I feel like America is starting to lose its, like, lose its, we're a failing superpower. We are on our way out and right. people are starting to sense that. And the Israelis are starting to sense that. And they're acting more and more brazen. And look at the Russians. They invaded Ukraine in, they started a war in Europe and nobody's afraid of world, world war three. But the issue is when countries are the weakest is when shit happens. I mean, nobody looked at Germany and goes, wow, this country's on top. It's definitely going to start world war two. You know, right. Germany was weak at the time. Germany was actually retaliating because of its weakness. And I feel like America's stranglehold on like capitalism and stuff is starting to slip and it's weak and it's, that's the scary part. Like, I think this is a, that the reason why we did this podcast is fucking serious, dude. I think your sister's wrong, dude. It's fucking serious. No, I told, she, she texted me later on in the day. She's like, you're right. She's like, it's just the Arab in me. I'm like, I know. I was like, I was like, I was like, you don't know fucking politics. I was like, I know politics. You don't know politics. Even so I told her, I was like, ask dad. Because my dad's obviously very into, like, Arab politics. He's like, it's the end of the world. I'm like, okay. Dude, I called my dad, and when I told him what happened, the same thing. He lo- he literally on the phone, he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, Hazab Allah hit them. I go, no, 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 no. I go, Iran fired at Israel because he, he didn't know. And he goes, what? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <my eye? laughs> yeah, I, see, I, don't, I don't see it. I think you're just tripping. No, I feel I, it. I see it now, but I yeah. have to really focus on it. You won't see it on cam. But my dad goes... Uh, my dad goes like seriously, like from Iran, and I'm like, yeah. And he goes like they shot the missile, <laughs> like. And I go, he goes, wow, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then the, I looked at the, I saw pictures of the missile, the the drones from Iran, and they all say Gaza on them. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, and that's the thing is like nobody's saying that Iran is the best country. Okay, as Arabs, we all have to go. Iran. Iran is Iran. not probably somewhere I want to live either. Okay, but. I said it the other day. I'm like, I also wouldn't want to live in Israel that uh, would kill me just simply for being Palestinian. Mm-hmm. Iran won't kill me for being Palestinian. They have archaic rules and archaic laws, and it's probably not the best place to be, but they're not going to just bomb my house or blow me up. Uh, you know, and, you know, if I had to live in the Middle East tomorrow, I'd probably just go to Lebanon because Lebanon's right. the most free, the most chill, the most uh, you can kind of do whatever the fuck you want. And people don't know this about Lebanon. There's, you know this. We've talked about this. Fucking, you need to go. But it's a big Our part- viewers know this now. It's a big party city. Can I, can I be selfish? Yeah. A part of the reason why, like, obviously I don't want war to happen, but I'm just like, fuck, like, I want to go to Lebanon. It's so fun. Like, my entire life I haven't gone to Lebanon because of, one, my dad has, like, bad PTSD because he was born and raised in the war. So he never wanted to take us back. Mm-hmm. So we never went. And then... Obviously, I, I have to do it alone in my adult life. 
And I'm like, with everything going on, it doesn't seem like a possibility that I'll ever get to see Lebanon how I want to see it. I really hope it stays the same. I mean, the Lebanese people are so resilient, dude. Yeah. I mean, when you go there, they just are so accustomed to the end of the the world, the end of their world, basically. That Lebanon, the, the reason why Lebanon is probably the best country I've ever been to is that everyone parties like there is no tomorrow because there may not be a tomorrow in Lebanon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you go out, they go out fucking hard. The clubs are fucking crazy. Like, they go out hard. I mean, you were saying something to me that I didn't know. He was telling me that the Israeli soldiers, when you went to Israel, were like, yeah, Lebanon's fucking sick. Yeah. And which I didn't know. Uh, you didn't talk about this on the pod, but talk about it on the pod. Yeah, they said it was sick. Uh, I mean, how have they been? Want me how, to elaborate. Well, the, I mean, it's crazy that the Israeli soldiers are like Lebanon's great. It's really fun. It's not everyone. It's just the ones that we had in our group. They were like, "Yeah, dude, I love Lebanon. I love, Lebanon's good. Lebanon's sick." They went. They would. They would. Sometimes they would go over the border for whatever reason. They have like sometimes they have friends over there, so they just go over. What's crazy is that you saying that. Even me experienced, I have never met an Israeli soldier in Lebanon. I've never met an Israeli soldier in Lebanon either. I mean, I don't think they, you know, I don't think they, they don't fucking come out and say that they're Israeli soldiers. They can't even get into Lebanon with an Israeli passport. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How did they snuck in? How the fuck did they get there? Dude, where there's a will, there's a way, especially in that country. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing is like, people don't realize that you're not going around and being like, are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Yeah. Like we were, we talked about this on the People sneak in across borders all the time, dude. Yeah. They just don't care. They don't give a fuck. They do care, but like, just. They're not going to say, oh, I'm blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing, too, is like in Lebanon, the younger generation, like even talking about religion is like super taboo uh, because they're because the racism between the religions. So everyone's like, hey, man, like don't act, who cares? Mm-hmm. Nobody gives a shit. We just want to get drunk and have a good time. Like Nobody cares. Uh, there's the the scary part is that we still haven't heard anything from Israel. Well, aren't they having a. I forget the name of it, but aren't they having a like a, a a leaders meeting or something like that to kind of be like, hey, don't do this or to kind of figure out the next step? Because, I mean, Iran didn't. Iran didn't do I mean, they did something wrong, of course, like bombing anything is wrong, but like they didn't they retaliated within the. No, Iran did to, not do anything wrong. To they, be honest. Yeah, they In this did, situation, yes. they did not. Sure. They gave them nine hours of notice. Uh-huh. They told them they were going to be doing this. They mm-hmm. told them why they're going to be doing this. They also said, like, not gonna, they're not, they didn't hit any civilian targets. They fucking barely damaged the runway. They also did not use their, like, big missiles. I mean, we know that they're working on a nuclear program, which they probably have nukes as well. Yeah. Iran did not use anything uh, except for these really shitty missiles that took, like, nine hours to get there. They could have flown, they could have flown uh, jets and then bomb them that way, that would have been more damaging. What the Israelis do to the Palestinians, right. or what the Israelis do to Lebanese, or what they even did in Syria. What they use are they call suicide drones, and the Israelis kind of use the word suicide drones to make them sound more scary, but they're just drones that fly really slow, and they fucking... They fall. And they fall, and they, they blow up. That's what yeah. they are. Uh, it, it, you know, I one of the craziest things was uh, I saw that, the, I saw that uh, David Cameron was talking about this, and they were like, they asked him, they were like, uh, he condemned Iran on Israel. I, I, I just want to play the clip. Do you guys want to see it? Yeah. It's really go good. It. It's, a, it's a great clip. Because it's basically, it's, it's the, the framing of it as the West. In the West, we're framed as like the worst people. I mean, Frogan knows this. I mean, Frogan posts anything and everyone says, go back to your country, terrorist. And she's, Amer- she's the most American probably out of all of us. She never left the fucking country. Okay, watch this. It's true. Let's watch this. You're too American for us. A reckless and dangerous thing for Iran to have done. And I think the whole world can see all these countries that have somehow wondered, well, you know, what is the true nature of Iran? It's there in black and white. What would Britain do if a hostile nation flattened one of our consulates? Well, we would take, you know, we would take the very strong action. And Iran would say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, same question. Yeah. What would Britain do? That's what they did. Well, what they did, as I said, was a massive attack. So no, they were right think, to respond, but they overreacted, is well, that what you're I, saying? I'm, what I'm saying they is that the, right atta- the, attack, the attack they carried out was on a very large scale, much bigger than but people they accepted. they have a right to respond? Well, countries have a right to respond when they feel they've suffered uh, an aggression. Of course they do. But look at the scale of that response. Had those weapons not so been shot right down... Respond, but they they just could Did anyone die in this attack? No. Then the scale's not the same. No. It's not. Then the scale's not the same. No, it's not. If it, it's it's not even an eye for an eye at that point. 
And then fucking Zionists on Twitter were posting like before and after pictures. It was like, oh, before and after pictures of when Israel gets bombed. And then everyone's like, yeah, because they're not targeting fucking civilians whenever they're at war. Yeah. I mean, what, what do they want? Do they want them to use their fucking nuke on them and then go, oh, see, we told you, like, no matter how they frame Oops, it. Oops, went a little too hard that time. Yeah, they'll be like, well, look at Iran. They're so damaging. It's like, what are you Dude, asking and for? And it's like, I'm sorry. They're, all they fucking do is talk about the fucking music festival attack where all the numbers are changing every fucking day about how many people died. Uh, people died. People did die. Yes. But first died. it's like 1,500, 2,000, 900, 700, back to 1,000. It's like, do they want people to, more fucking people to die? So they can like, claim victimhood I, in this fucking situation? I don't, I don't situation? understand. Like, what, I think what Iran did is they were basically like, hey, don't do that again. That's all they're doing, right? And I'm, again, I'm, not, I'm, I'm defending Iran in this, in this specific situation. You attacked them first. Iran has a right to defend itself. A, 100%. Palestinians have a right to defend themselves. Both do. And it, Israel at this point is the aggressor. And that's exactly what happened. I'm sorry. October 7th was literally defense it was it was a revolution it was fighting back do you know why october 7th was so bloody did you ever watch the al jazeera documentary about it no why it was so bad do you know that a lot of the hostages weren't even taken by hamas they were taken by palestinians that just broke out of the cage and went and just started fucking looting and shit because what ended up happening is that they never thought they would get that far they all thought they were on a suicide mission because they were like, we're just going to go do the suicide mission. But Israel's defense was so weak at the time that they got way further than they thought they were going to get. So you have a bunch of people who are now disjointed from like, they don't have, there's not like a fucking coordinated effort, man. You have people in a fucking cage. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Most of them are dumbass. Effort. Israel knew about this for a year. I know. I know. But what I'm saying is Israel was so brazen. They thought it was never going to happen. So what ended up happening, if you watch the Al Jazeera documentary, they do hour for hour. People were just going in and grabbing people and driving them back over the border. So that's why when they're like, free the hostages, free Hamas, some of these fucking hostages are taken by just average uh, Palestinian citizens who are just probably like the people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. They ran into, they ran in there and they grabbed them and they came back. They were just people at the border wall that when the wall came down, they just broke free. It's like, a, it's adjacent to prisoners breaking from a fucking prison mm -hmm. and causing prison riots, right? So they go in there, they grab people, they run back. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. But a lot of it was that once they got past where they thought they were going to go on their suicide mission, they were targeting only military bases. A lot of these people were just, there was no like coordination effort, like go kill civilians. They were just like, oh fuck, we're in this, we're in the kibbutz now. Let's fucking kill these people. You know, this is what happens when you jail people and they fucking break free. This is what happens. People are like, oh, these people, they had their own country. They could do whatever. My mom went there. She wanted to go to Gaza. They told her, fuck, you can't go in. You can't go in. Nobody goes in. No one goes out. They haven't been able to go in and out since 2005. So what do you think those people, it's, it's a fucking, it's a boiling pot. You have your hand on a boiling pot and it fucking explodes in your face. And then you go, these animals, man. And then people always constantly talk about like peaceful resistance and like from the Palestinian side, that has happened. And even with peaceful resistance, there's like a march uh, at the wall with like doctors. The, they all got the, sniped. The march for the the great march of return, they went to go protest peacefully, and they shot them in the fucking legs and blew people's heads mm -hmm. off. I mean, even now, I think that Israel just changed their uh, what's the word for it? Changed their rules on on protests. Uh, before it was there aren't allowed to be any other any protest larger than a certain amount of number now. And if you keep changing that scope and keep changing that allowance of how many people can be at a protest then you're not then 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 what are you going to do there's reports coming out right now as we're talking that israel just raids i don't know if this is how legit this is but it says israel police raid an anti uh, anti-zionist jewish neighborhood in jerusalem with armored vehicles now they're turning their fascist re regime against their own people yeah because that's what happens this is the issues is that the palestinians have been crying we're not barbarians it's crazy because you know i feel like the most of the population, the, the the majority of the Jewish population, and I don't speak for everyone, but I, 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 it will turn to that where they start attacking their own people, and then people are going to be like, "Whoa, whoa, what the fuck's happening?" It's like, yeah. "Yeah, you're being a fucking idiot. This has been happening. This is what happens when you let a Zionist power or a theocracy take full. There, anybody who's kind of slightly not with that theocracy, they're going to come and attack you. What the craziest? Even if, even if you're even if you're one hundred percent within that religion." Dude, how they treated the Arab Jews. 
Mm-hmm. The like one of the things I saw was an article about how the Arab Jews, when they got into Israel, were made to go into camps so they could get re-educated to stop learning Arabic, get rid of their accents, be, start talking Hebrew because Hebrew was a dead language. Right. There was Yiddish. Okay, Yiddish w- was a language. Mm-hmm. So the way they treated the Arab Jews, like some of the Arab Jews said, we didn't know what white supremacy was until the European Jews got here, and mm-hmm. then like basically were like, hey, you can't be Arab anymore. Yeah, because these people were. There were Arab Jews that are Palestinian, Arab Jews that were from multiple different countries, but they all had to go to Israel. And a lot of the persecution that they faced was because of the Israeli government, you know. But anyways, it it eventually always turns on your own people, right? When you are fascist and you force violence, you're going to be yeah, mad you start with finding violence. You start finding niche things wrong with them, which is what happened Ethiopian. in Germany. This is literally what happened in Germany. Yeah. You find niche things. Oh. They're German, yeah, but they're Jewish? Okay, let's get rid of those guys. Yeah. And then you find more things. Oh, they're German, but they they don't have the blondest of hair? We're out of there. You know what I mean? Not saying that that's what happened. Obviously not. But, like, you start fight, you start narrowing in and in and in until you start getting rid of any imperfections. You have your own red heifers mm-hmm. out of your own people. Uh, That's an insane thing to say, the red heifer. But... You want to watch this this video of apparently this just came out like an hour ago. Monday today Monday an hour ago yeah Monday. Oh, there he goes. So, I'm I the rest of it's kind of the same. I I watched it on repeat, but basically, these are uh the reports are coming out that uh the Israeli p- police raided an anti-Zionist Jewish. Neighborhood. Are there any reports that aren't on Twitter? No. Are there any like from the any like reliable source like? Uh, well, it's also breaking, so it's probably going to end up popping off. I mean, the other the other thing is who's going to report on this? The New York Times. Mm-hmm. They're not going to. They yeah, don't they report would. on these things. Yeah, they no, do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Not on these things. They're extremely BBC. pro-Israel. The only place that would report on this currently Al would be Al Jazeera. Yeah. We'll check that's, Al Jazeera. That's the issue. Was that Krub? I mean, right now, Al Jazeera has been 100% and all waiting to see Israel's response. Yeah. So, and this is this is live. Um, I could check it. Uh, I Oh, the, the news network that I saw that was legitimate with yeah. this was Quads. Um, quads. Yeah, what's it called? What's it called? Rogan probably knows. Deep breath, sighing. Are you good? Great. She's great. You want to sleep or you want to talk? I'm listening. Damn. What? Jesus Christ. If I have nothing to say, why am I just going to add random bullshit? Just because so you I have, you have, words? you do have so much to say. You have a lot to say about this issue. Yeah. Everything you say is important to us. It is very important. Yeah. But I don't need rather talk if I actually have something of value to say. You do. You have a lot of value. To say I see me. shit all the time. That's bullshit. You do have a lot to say. No, I'm just thinking. Okay. I mean, like, well, what are you thinking about? The world is fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. I mean, what's crazy is like how people. No, no, we gotta close shut the, door. the fuck up, Miles. No, try it again, but with a sterner voice. I can't. <laughs> it worked. Hey, hey, now, relax. Um, the other thing is that yeah. the world is fucked. But the other thing is that um, I, I just don't know the severity. Like, I think that this is why I, I talked about this on the video that I dropped that you guys were watching that we talked about earlier is that like, this is why we bitched about content creators not talking about this. They can all fucking choke at this point. You know, it's like, I don't even want them to say anything anymore. 
It's, they can all fucking choke. You know what? You want me to talk? I have shit to say now. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah there we pop go. Pop off. Let me close the door. But keep going. Shit. Pop off. Pop off. Go. Okay. Go. Pop off. Zoom in slowly on her yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop off. So, <laughs> dude, I wish. Look, at, you... look into your camera. I have a hair on my lip. Okay, listen. So, Gaza has been in the news, mainstream media, for the last six months, almost seven months at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I didn't give people the benefit of the doubt for not speaking up, to be honest. I never did because you're fucking stupid. You know, there was a point of re-education for people about what's happening in Gaza and that what Israel's doing is actually bad. But even after learning all that information, a lot of people didn't care. They didn't give a fuck. Ever since we were younger, for, the long, for decades, Arabs are seen as lesser people, okay? And that was proven when a couple weeks ago, um, seven people from an uh, org that was doing um, aid work. Uh-huh got targeted by Israel and they all died. And of course that caused an uproar for, for people all over the world because seven Western people died. But to me, and like I saw people on Twitter speak out about it that haven't spoke up before. It's like, okay, so the seven fucking people that aren't Arab, I think one Arab actually was in it, but like for, for this conversation, the seven people that weren't Palestinians, the 35,000 plus possibly more, you know, uh, currently, El Shifa Hospital is being bulldozed right now, mm -hmm. um, and they're finding graves the IDF made. Mass graves. Mass graves with people um, that were patients in the hospital that have fucking casts and everything on them, which is a war crime, obviously. Yes. That wasn't enough for them. For me personally, like, you need to get your fucking dog. Oh. Just bring him in. Okay. For me personally, like, I mean, you saw in the time, like, it was timeline was all bloody people. Yeah. Am I desensitized to that because I was gr grew up uh, watching Al Jazeera? Sure. But I still felt some type of way every fucking time I saw a dead baby's corpse hanging from a fence in their pajamas or even a, a man that got blown into pieces and seeing the inside of their skulls. But that wasn't enough for people. The only time it was enough was when fucking Western people died. And that's what makes me bad about these content creators. And I don't give a fuck about them. Like, I don't even, I don't even want them to waste their breath speaking on it yeah. because it's not going to be genuine. Why, why are the seven people from like Canada, America, Australia's lives more important than those in Palestine? Be because as an Arab, and I thought about this the other day, we are already born in the wrong. Like, my name is different than what I should be named. Because my mom experienced severe racism as a kid and changed my name, even though it should be uh, something else, should be an Arab name, because she didn't want me to face the same racism she had faced as a kid. No, you and your brother. Yep. So the fact is that I was born already with a mark on my face that I am lesser than a white person. And when a white person dies, Everyone goes, oh, this is bad. And I've seen there's moments in the crisis where people are like, this is bad. But when I've, I've still talked to people recently, they're like, I'm liberal, very liberal. And I go, oh, cool. Uh, what do you think about this? And they're like, I just don't know. It's real tough for me to figure it out. It's like, bro, fuck you. It's not that complicated. It's not complicated issue. at this point. You know how old I was when I got told to go back to my country for the first time? How old I was you? four years old. Yeah. You know how I looked at four years old? To tell a four-year-old to go I'll show you exactly like how that, because you have no wrinkles. Yeah, to tell a four-year-old, you don't have wrinkles. To tell a four Thank you. You're welcome. I'm, I'm getting them. They're simmering. I'll show you exactly how I looked at four years old. And To tell a four-year-old to go back to their country is the most insane, mentally ill thing. You're a fucking loser. I was riding my bike. And was, you're poor. I was riding my bike, and we were like one of the only Arabs in the neighborhood at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad lost business after 9-11 uh, yeah. significantly. But yeah, the first time I got told to go back to my country, I was four years old. It was 2001. The issue is now that the Arab crisis is like, I don't think I, I'm still looking at Twitter and I'm like, I don't think you guys understand this is going to affect you. Let me see. We're going to post it up here. Yeah. I don't look like an Arab. I look like a white bitch. Why did they tell you to go back to your country? Because they knew my dad. Right? Oh, really? Yeah. They didn't know you were from. They told the oh. little, you told you or they told your dad. Told to me, back. dude. Yeah, let me just get on a boat right now, motherfucker. <laughs> I see Frog. I'd be like, you smell like shit. Ugh. Why don't you kill yourself? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I'm going to reset the camera. No, but that. I'm going to go back to my country, sure, but you go back to having smelly ass breath, you fuck. 
Frogan at four years old. I think that the whole reason why we did this pod today, like as an emergency, basically, is that this is going to affect Americans. Yeah, we need to make sure that people understand that. This like, is... we need to. Everyone needs to say no war with Iran. Everyone needs to stop. The Palestinian crisis has to stop because it will lead us into deaths here at home. Right. And if you think that that doesn't affect you, and you're like, oh man, I just really can't talk about this. I just don't know. I just this don't will know. fuck your shit up, dude. Like this will kill Americans. Because these wars are not self-contained. I mean, look at fucking what happened with 9-11. You know, like, this shit doesn't just stay over there. The, the genie's out of the fucking bottle. Yeah. The, you know? <laughs> yeah. Madonna's Arabs, saying you that. Know, you know who made genies? I don't think... Arabs. Wasn't it Christina Aguilera? It was Chris, no, Christina Aguilera was a genie in a bottle. What was Madonna? She did... Life is a mystery. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It was Christina Aguilera. Black Jesus, and then he gets like crucified at the end of the video. Oh, yeah, 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 Yo, yeah, yeah. Madonna has a song in Hebrew that fucking slaps. Yeah, she's a Zionist. Sucks. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. It, fuck, it fucks me up because I'm like, you know, like I tweeted today about the, the Twitch shit. I'm like, at a time that fucking we're getting like literally genocided. And all this shit. You guys don't even have us on your census. Here's the thing. I'm talking more shit. Yeah. I have been, going. I've been talking about the the lack. Of, okay. So. So for anybody that streams on Twitch, there's a streamer survey. And in the streamer survey, there's a whole demographic list. I'm going to pull it up. That's why I'm going on my phone. I'm not being rude. You're good. Preface. I just tweeted it too, so you could just pull mine. Um, I just retweeted my tweet because you talked about it, so I have it right on my profile. I just pulled. I just tweet, tweeted, tweet. Wait, you didn't? I called someone a fat tweet, whale on Twitter. Your today. old tweet. Yeah, because you stole it from me. I'm Arab too. I've been tweeting about this for three years. I've been tweeting about it for three months, and those months were more important. I just than learned about years. it for three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so they have a whole what's your race and ethnicity section on the survey. So there's Native American or Alaskan Native. South Asian, East Asian, Southeast Asian, Black or African American, Mexican, Mexican American, Chicano, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Dominican, El Salvadorian, other Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin. So these are all separate categories. Yeah. Um, we'll put the picture on screen. White, Native Hawaiian, or other Pacific Islander, not listed. Please specify. Prefer not to say. Well, so this is what I believe. Because it is region locked. If you're in the UK, Middle Eastern, North African is part of it. However. What do you mean? Do you have proof on, on that? Yes, I do. Zach Bussy uh, gave me the proof. Zach, uh, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're listening, what's up, Zach? That wouldn't make any sense, though. It, it does. And this is why. It doesn't. I'll tell you why I think this is what they're doing. <laughs> I think that they're using the census of the country. And that's what they're doing to try to like wash but their hands clean. But even then, that isn't the census of America. Oh, it's not. No. Okay. Well, then. the census of America just got updated, didn't it? Even then, uh, they don't have those separate categories in America. No. Okay, so that's even more weird because what I've heard from Twitch staff, and I've been seeing it on the internet, is that this has been brought to the attention of Twitch multiple times. And it's just kind of died on the executive board. Table, Here's the thing. Like the I've been up. bringing it up to Twitch executives. I've talked to Twitch executives personally multiple times. Multiple times being in person at TwitchCon. Yep. Um, I've emailed some. I've talked to some on Discord. Like, And this is not even me wanting to be represented. It's like coming from the researcher perspective. I was a researcher for five years before I was a Twitch streamer. And in my research, we made sure that every single demographic that we were researching was met. So we had literally a huge, we had literally every single ethnicity race possible for yeah. people to select. So we had the exact uh, data necessary when we're doing our analysis. Yeah. And it's like, it doesn't make sense because there are so many top streamers on the platform that do identify as Middle Eastern North African. Mm -hmm. For example, Austin is Arab. Myth isn't on Twitch anymore, but he was Arab. Pokey's Middle Eastern, North African. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me, you, you. Um, who else? Mur. He's Arab. Mur. <laughs> Mur. <laughs> Mur. <laughs> who else? There's, well, uh, so Yaswa. Yeah. Uh, Jelly Peanut. Like I, these are just off the top of my head. Miss Kiff. He's Lebanese. He's not Lebanese. Le he's Chris not you know, Lebanese. Fucker, dude. <laughs> One time I fucking talked to that guy. He's like, I'm Lebanese, and I looked at him. I was like, You look Lebanese. This motherfucker, dude. 
Um, okay, so the deal is though, Sit. Uh, what's crazy to me is that you have February, you have Black History Month, okay? Then March is Women's Month, right? Both of them, they tweeted something about it. They yeah. tweeted about this month, April, is Arab American Heritage Month. Nothing. Ramadan also landed on this month. In the last two years, they did something for Eid. And the reason why they did is because I brought it to their attention. Okay, so Eid, they had something, but that's also Not just Muslim. Not this year, they didn't. But that's just Muslim. So no, us, they didn't have anything for Eid this year. They said, fuck those Muslims. So this year, you can let him, let him go. He'll just come back up, up here. This year, they had nothing for, uh, nothing for Eid. And then f- just Arabs in general or Middle Eastern people, this, this month, nothing. I guarantee you next month, which is AA... A- RP, AAPI, uh, <laughs> Asian and Pacific Islander Month, yeah. or something like that. They will have something. So 100%. they literally, so they literally are just skipping our month. Exactly, which no, is 100%. disgusting. It's like, dude, come on, fuck you. You guys, you guys are doing every other month. Yeah, and it's, it's who gives a fuck, honestly. It's a, it's, it's a not about, month. It's not about me, dude. It's like, no, I know, I know. It's I like, know, come on, I'm man, saying like, like it's a month, but like, come on, like it's, it's not, it's a just tweet. Give something. us a fucking month. If just you, give me a fucking. I'm old the month, dude. Just give me give the month. Give me a fucking month. Hold on. So I used to work diversity, equity, and inclusion strategy. Yeah. Yeah. The the dick. Yeah. The dick. Yeah. I used to work DEI strategy. And I thought there was going to be a C in there. Yeah. There was too. <laughs> um, well, I see inclusion. Dick. These motherfuckers. I swear so to you God. worked at the dyes. Everything relates back to a dick for some fucking reason. Yeah, to we're men. And we're, 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 we're men. We're sexually You know repressed. what it is? You don't hang around alphas like us. Dude, I'm Don't so, say it like us. I'm like, a Zeta. I need women friends at this point. I'm more like a Queta. A Queta? Yeah. Cute male. Is that, do you mean like Equata? Because he's so fucking hot, dog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. High five him. High five him. He's hot. What were you saying? Yeah, keep going. You're working for the diversity inclusion e- equity report. Nobody wants to hear your nerd shit. Dude. No, I do. I want to hear. No, that. I no, really do. Fine. This is actually the most. No, important. I want to hear. It. I no, want to hear. This is the most important topic. We need I to get have through nothing this. Nothing to say. No, no. We really need to get through this. It's really good, and it's important, and no, we need uh, to bring this to the attention. Okay, of but the you world. were working for the diversity inclusion. Yeah, at my old job, yes. I worked uh, on strategy. strategies. Strategies. And it's just like, how are you going to do? How are you going to half-ass DEI when you're trying to make that look a staple? like pillar of your fucking organization. You can't represent like the select minorities you want to represent and then throw the others under the fucking bus. Yeah, basically, you know I mean? yeah. Well, basically, like, Twitch is like being the Chick-fil-A for Arabs well, there, right now. There's, there's, there's a black guild. There's, Chick-fil-A sauce? There's a women's guild. There's a Latin guild. Mm-hmm. And then there's M-E-N-A, right? So Middle Eastern North African guild. Yeah. They, they were like <laughs> too explosive this year. Yeah, there's, only, yeah. there's, there's Latinx, black, and women's. Yeah. yeah. Um... They said, fuck those Arabs. They were like, fuck those Arabs. They're like, not Arabs. this year, dude. We've already spent so much on Frogan Security last year for a con. We don't want to. Dude, do I'll never free. forget that shit. They're like, yeah, well, if you don't feel safe, you don't have to come. I'm like, <laughs> I just think, okay. I'm, I'm like, you get fucking dream security. This motherfucker doesn't even stream on Twitch. Why is he here? Hassan. Hassan's the other one who's not really Arab, but Turkish is kind of. Yeah, I mean. No, he's not Arab. He's, he's not, not Arab, but I feel like he can identify with the Arab experience. He can identify as Middle Eastern because of maybe because he's Muslim. Yeah. But he's an occupier. Well, 100% he's an occupier. He's an occupier. Don't That's our thumbnail, up. by the way. Hassan is just going to be up. Yeah. Hassan <laughs> occupied us. <laughs> um, there was one more thing I wanted to ask you about that is that. Um, Lean oh, back. Can you tell me why? Huh? Lean back. Sorry. Can you tell me why? Not like that. No, that was good. That was fine. I he would have been fine. out of frame. Can you tell me why Arabs are classified as white? Because they wanted to be classified as white in the 90s. Why? Because they thought if they were coming. So a lot of uh, Arabs were coming to America in the 90s, um, especially Lebanese people, because that's around Civil the time when the war mm-hmm. was concluding. Um, so they thought that. If they came to America and they were classified as white, it would take away the repercussions of racism and being identified as Arab. This also happened with Italians back in the 40s. Mm-hmm. And it won. And at that point, nobody, like, no offense to Italian people, but nobody sees Italians as people that have, like, culture. You know what I mean? Like, their needs are not different from white people. I think Italians are very, they do have a very distinct 
Oh wow, they make, they make meatballs with their family on Sunday. Okay, well, you're, we don't need straight. Okay. We don't, yeah, need, yeah, we don't need to throw straights at Italian. Italian, Italian people, I love We fuck you. with Italians. They're cool. But to say any, they don't have culture, they have more culture than stereotypical white yeah, people. Yeah, they do have culture, but like they're they're not. They're white. There's no there's no discrimination against them anymore because they've fully integrated as white yes. uh, as a race. The th- which we've, we've talked about this. Whiteness is a concept. It's not a it's not a thing. Right. Know? He's so goddamn annoying. What? He ruins <laughs> the podcast every fucking week. Look at him. I'm sick of hearing his bitch ass cry while we're having serious fucking conversations, while we're having guests, because he has separation anxiety and can't fucking be with yeah, him I'm about to for Iran, two seconds. I'm about to, I'm about to Persian his ass. Annoying. I'm about to Iran his ass. Look at him, though. I'm going to bomb you. Bombs over back, dad puppy. Yeah, anyways, they don't give a fuck about Arabs. They don't fuck Arabs, you know. Twitch doesn't care. Yeah, they're just they're no they're they're not they're not any different than any other fucking platform to be honest with they're, you. So all organizations do diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives to look like they care about the minorities, but at the end of the day, they don't. So anyway, oh, the, we're talking about the census. Yes, sis. So yeah, in the nineties Arabs were like, "Yo, classify us as white. We don't want to be racismed." Right. But guess what? What? Didn't do shit. And at the, so at that point, them being classified as white fucked up research because, you know, the needs of the Arab community are different from the, the white community because a lot of Arabs are immigrants from Middle Eastern countries. So, like for example, I was in reproductive health research, and one of the major things, uh, the last time I read the stat, I haven't kept up update on it to be honest, was Arab immigrant women have the highest rates of undetected cervical cancer, and once you have uh, cervical cancer and you find out about it, you're fucking dead. Oh, really? Yeah, they usually find out about it late stage. And there's like so many like cultural implications of like taboo of mm-hmm. like getting like a pelvic exam because like you're not supposed to get a pelvic exam until you're married. And then sh- then it's a whole thing of like, why would you get a pelvic exam when you're having sex with one person? Even though you don't, they're taking away the factors of like Based. that partner. Based. That partner had sex with other let people me give, prior. Let me give you a pelvic exam. Me? Yes. No, don't touch my pelvic. <laughs> or like par- cheating partners or like having other sexual partners because hpv can stay in your body like it simmers it takes a long time to get like done those cancers yeah um and when you cl- like for example with like a stat like that when you classify that as white it's going to be such a minor population that you lose that data which is why they need their own category right. on the census especially on twitch that's my spiel. I went on a tangent, and I'm sorry. No, it's important. I have nothing to say to that. You're absolutely right. Hey, fuck you, Twitch. Great. Did it. This is why Twitch is a dying fucking platform. Nobody wants to watch you anymore. Nobody gives a fuck about your stupid ass fuck ups with sub revenue, taking away fucking ad revenue. You're dying. Yeah. You're fucking dying. Even now, even recently, like with the whole DJ thing, I was like, nobody really gave a shit about it. Some DJs did. But I was like, oh, okay. DJ Who, what, add more shit. Up. You know what I mean? I mean, the, dude, the thing is, like, I think that, like, right now, if I was Twitch right now and I see what's going on with the Arab world, I'd be like, yo, we got to highlight these people because they're getting, they're probably taking a lot more heat than normal. But they're not thinking like normal. They're thinking like a fucking corporation. Give a fuck. shit. They're like, yeah, we don't want to side with anybody. So if we, don't we say side Arabs, that means exactly. oh, we don't like the Jews. But that's not the case. Because yeah. the thing is, Twitch is, the, the executives at Twitch are fucking ignorant as well, dude. It's well, all run by white people. Imagine this is like our BLM kind of, right? Yeah. It's kind of like our BLM. It's like a moment big for the Palestinian people. Sure. And they're like, imagine Twitch during the BLM movement was like, nah, no, Black History Month, let's not do it this month. Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, fuck you. How dare you? You know? Trans Visibility Day, they did it. Good. Good on them. Mm -hmm. You know? You've taken a stance on everything, but when it comes to Arabs, you don't want to. Do you know why? Because you know- Because we're the bad guys. We're the bad guys. Yeah, dude. You're Hollywood. You think all Arabs are bad guys still. (laughs) They're like, this year in our board meeting, I'm going to be Dan Clancy. I'm going to say something. 
I, I like, like those errors, but they're just a little too explosive. All, all I'm going to say is we're Dan not going to be invited back to those secret meetings anymore. <laughs> yeah, or fuck. All Dan Clancy does is go to Austin and collab with the Austin fucking streamers. All Dan Clancy does is dress up like a fucking cowboy, his GTA <laughs> RP character, and pretends he's fucking funny. You're not fucking funny, Dan. You're an 80-year-old fucking dude. Stop trying to be cool like the rest of us. <laughs> That's it's right. cool that we're you fucking come <laughs> and that you fucking hang out and, uh, and show love <laughs> to the fucking here. platform, but it's not cool we're that done. you're an 80-year-old old man fucking hanging around only fans models and doing all this other fucking <laughs> shit with fucking 20 year olds stop it dude you old fuck i'm sick of it <laughs> give us our month back <laughs> give us our month am i wrong though it's weird <laughs> you may have spoken some facts <laughs> It's weird, dude. And I still think, like, cool. Like, it's cool to have a CEO who loves. I know we're talking about this. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about today, but now it's on my mind. Yeah. It's cool that we have a CEO that wants to, like, hang and be a streamer. It's, and that we need Smart. that 100%. We need that in a CEO. But we don't need a CEO who wants clout. You know what? You're fucking right. We don't need a CEO who wants clout. And this, it's, I hate content creators. That's my fucking. Th I'm bringing it back to that. I okay. fucking hate content creators. Well, not all of them. Some of them we really like. No, well, I'm a content creator. Like I'm me? a content creator as well. Yeah, barely. Very barely. I'm barely. I hate too. content creators. Every single one of them. I yeah. feel like I'm dealing with fucking thirty year olds in high school. I'm too. I have too much of a developed frontal lobe to fucking deal with that shit. True. Hmm. Well, this concludes this week's episode. We're an hour and thirty in. Uh, we're going to cut to the Patreon and we're going to do the questions that you guys want. We're going to do who is most likely to scenarios where. Yeah, we're going to do uh, the Which scenarios I'm where we fi figure out who's more likely to do something. And that you all submitted. And you yep. guys are like my two co-hosts, very sexually repressed and fucking weird. Don't say like your two co-hosts. We're not. We're not. You make I'm us not sound sexually like creeps. repressed. You literally just said you were. Who said that? Did I say that? Really? Do you Did think you that wind it back? Wind don't it back, rewind please. it back. No, don't rewind, rewind it back. Really. Rewind it back. No, yeah, yeah we're men. And we're, men. We're, we're, we're sexually you know repressed. It it's going right. to be the whole beginning of this podcast when I said it, I, I ran instead of Iran all over again. Yeah. Well, this is a great podcast, though. It was really tough and it was hard. And so really kind of close it out. What should we expect now from Iran and Israel and America? And what should we watch out for? Never fuck with motherfuckers that have white BMWs with red interior and wear Dior <laughs> Sauvage. <laughs> Can I be honest? Yeah. I don't, this podcast comes out on Wednesday. I'm hoping to God that by Wednesday there's no response from Israel. I, uh, I, um, I kind of agree with you. I don't think that's not going to happen. I think Israel is going to do some crazy shit. And I think America is going to kind of be like, well, now we're in war. We're in war again. It's our, we're, we're fucking start. And then, you know what? Another fucking tower is going to get attacked. It's going to happen all over again. We have dude. a World Trade Center in L.A. Yeah, we do. It's kind Where? of shitty, though. It's really bad. It's like a really shitty building. I've been in it. I don't give a shit about other World Trade Centers. I, I give a shit about the original two. Yeah, the original two were sick. They dude. turned those they into the up. twin tussies. Yeah. They squirt. It really sucks. Yeah, they it's a really giant. Cool. It's a giant hole where the tower sat. <laughs> they turned them into water fountains. You can't Didn't call the memorial okay. a tussy. You can't call them a tussy. That's so disrespectful. The twin tussies. He's from New York. I'm, if so, I you died, can't fucking. I'm not. My accent's gonna come out. <laughs> okay, let it come out. You then. can't fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're like from Idaho. I feel like I'm. You from You can't Idaho. fucking do that. Yeah, All right, we're adding this. I'll see you guys that. on the Patreon. Bye. 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 This next one's really fucking messy. Okay, I'm ready oh for my it. God. Who's most likely to riz up another person in the Arabs? Oh, I'm not showing mine. Ooh. 